Tonight, the family of fallen NOPD officer Marcus McNeil is celebrating his life on his 30th birthday. Good evening, I'm Scott Walker. And I'm Sally Kim. Thank you for joining us. And for the first time, McNeil's wife is speaking about her husband's death. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian has the exclusive interview. Just disbelief. It didn't feel real. Today it still doesn't feel real, so it's hard to, um, I guess, to put it in words, but a part of me feel, still feels like he's coming home every day. Friends and family of Officer Marcus McNeil celebrating his 30th birthday at Rock and Bowl without him. It's different every day to wake up without him. Marcus's wife, Brittany, says they met in 2009. They dated through college. Marcus graduated from Dillard in 2010 with a degree in accounting. In 2013, the two married. They had two children, two-year-old Camille and five-year-old Macy. Brittany says Marcus always knew his calling was in law enforcement, so he became a member of the NOPD in 2014. He wanted to make that a safe community to, to live in. He wanted to police the neighborhood that he lived in because he loved his city, he truly did. But while on duty in New Orleans East this past October, Marcus noticed suspicious behavior from Darren Bridges. A struggle between the two occurred. Investigators say Bridges shot Marcus, killing him. In his head and twice in his side. Brittany won't forget the call from that night. Just in my mind, I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know that it was that he was dead. And while tonight is a celebration of life, Brittany says the hardest part is knowing that Camille and Macy. Daddy constantly. So, I mean, it's hard. But I, I try to tell them that, you know, remember that daddy's in our hearts. He's not with us. But just like you love him, he still loves you, and love never ends. Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. All right, uh, we 